today at Lorenzo's Fast Flow. We're going to go behind the scenes and see what tools get used to get certain jobs done. We're going to start with micrometers. Micrometers are very common. They're used to measure the length, thickness, and diameter of an object. Micrometers measure with very high precision, often down to the thousandth of an inch or hundredth of a millimeter. The space between the measuring faces indicates how big the micrometer is. For example, they range from one to two inch, two to three inch, and so on. Here's how it applies to real life. Next door at Gatling crankshafts, they received a crank in that belongs to a caterpillar, a forklift. The customer needs the mains grinded down, but how do you even measure that? Micrometers, of course. The small side to 48.5, and this is on the small side of 47. This is, it's a half under. Yeah, that one and this one. It's like, eight. it's 46 something. So the mains are too, the mains are too small. Yeah, yeah that's 47.2, this one is better. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta keep the radius, you're gonna have to use the eighth inch radius yeah. wheel. Yeah, that's 46, that's 47. So, we're so going it's seven with... tenths under the small size. So we're gonna go with this instead? Go with the middle of that, yeah. With the middle of that spec, 10 under. So 247, so you're gonna go to like 248. 248 zero? Yeah. Yeah, 248 out. So 238 out. Once the measurements are accurately taken down, goes into the crank grinder. Though we're taking off a thousandth of an inch at a time, and not explicitly a micrometer, a gauge on the crankshaft grinder is used to see how much exactly is being taken off. Keep in mind, this gauge is also incredibly accurate. Meanwhile, next door, Lorenzo's boring a block. Once Lorenzo determines how much he wants to take out of the bore, he will double check it against a micrometer. And with this much experience, he's usually right on. Cutting exactly where it is. Okay. Once the block is bored, it flies on over to the honing machine. The Sunnen CV C16 comes with its own dial bore gauge. This is used to measure the inside diameter of the cylinder. Since we did expand the bore, we're gonna need bigger pistons. But with that being said, we can keep the rods. Next door, Marco and Brett are getting the wrist pins out of the pistons. From there, the rods go into a Sunnen CRH60, a rod heater. The small end of the rod needs to get superheated for the new wrist pins to be able to fit in. This process has to be done with speed and accuracy. Once the pistons are assembled, they're ready to go back into the block. An inside mic is used to check the clearance before everything gets clamped down. When it's all said and done, everything is absolutely perfect, down to the very last minute detail. There is one last tool to go over. Though not as common as a micrometer, Marco explains what a CC barrette does. CC barrette. 
it calculates the cc's of a combustion chamber which is this area right here you put two valves in spark plug check the cc's which is the volume of liquid that goes into that area and to bring the compression up you first find what the cc's are then you cut the head and bring it down to the cc's that you want it to be for the compression is desired for your engine build 63 yeah. so all you have to do is take off six more you take 66 off those heads yeah that'll be good 66. From micro measurements to heating rods and using water to find the volume of a head. All of these tools are the unsung heroes of the shop. <laughs>